This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. So we're going to continue on our library project. So lesson nine, great. But we're working on the library project. I already have my project here. If you don't have code, you haven't done uh, the last portion of this assignment. You can take a look at my video if you get stuck. But that being said, let's see what we need. Use this level to write your library when you're ready to publish your library, right? And I took care of that mostly last level. Click share, show advanced option, share as library. Add any additional comments and publish. All right, so we're going to add comments before. I want to point out, though, especially for my students, you want comments ahead, right? So if I were to magic this over here, here's their example library. And their example, they have, like we've done before, an explanation up ahead, above, what is the parameter, and then what is getting returned. So we want the same idea here. Here's what's getting returned for me. Okay, now what's this function do? Um, outputs a number uh, within the range of indexes or indices. Okay, so it just outputs a random number that is within the range. And then I don't have any parameters, so I don't need that one. Now, what's my get name function do? Well, returns name at that index. And you get the idea. We've already practiced this, so I won't make you watch all of mine. But then what you need next is the parameter. I have index. So I would do index, and I'm going to do integer. You might just be doing number, depending on who you're working with and integer index integer uh index uh location and list and then what am i returning return string name at that index all right so on and so forth make sure you have these comments it is critical and it is common throughout programming to do that now Share, show advanced options, share as a library, share. All right, share, show advanced options, boom. So again, share, show advanced options, then what? Share as a library, share the function in your library project with a friend or a classmate, share as a library. Now you have to name your project, and this is how it would work in a Google app script if you were publishing something for Google applications. My library name is going to be Serial uh, Calorie <laughs> Quiz. Sure. Great. And you can't have uh, spaces in these names. Write a description for your library. Allows easy access to info from the serial allows easy access to the serial nutritional data set. All right, functions. What do I want to include? I want all functions. And see what I was saying? This is why you want comments. They're right here. It can't be outported until you have comments. So I'm going to go back and magically do that, and I'll be back here. Well, I'll have you watch me, and I'll go super fast. All right, now I'm going back. Manage libraries once again. Nope, just kidding. Share, show advanced options. Share, I keep forgetting we moved it. Share advanced, share, show advanced options, which I had already pressed. Share as the library. Share as the library. And I'm again going to write. Okay, well, yep, that's great. Now I can do all functions and notice I can select them now that we have the proper comments and I want to hit publish. And this is what you're going to see successfully published your library, share ID with others. So you can use your library in their project. So if other people want to, this is my ID right here. I will, hmm, I might put it in the description, copy ID, but I can hit copy ID. I can display it here. Mine is this. So they're pretty long and yours is gonna look something like that if you did it right. All right, so, yup. Now go to the next level and import a library. Cool, I'm gonna do that. Let me comment that out. So yeah, all right. And let's hit run, finish. Oh, well, not let you click finish. So I don't have something that actually executes the library, that's fine.
Boom. Let's test. All right. So now it's showing you how to do this. Click the gear next to the workplace and then manage libraries. Find your classmate's library in the drop down. Leave feedback on your classmate's project. So manage libraries. And here's me, right? I'm my classmate. And I can click on it. And ta da! So you can't type on their actual work, so don't freak out. But what you can do is, like they're saying here, leave feedback on your classmate's project guide. So you can provide feedback or even rotate desks. It's really good to take a look at each other's project and be able to help each other out in that way. But uh, all right, onward.